Hello guys, this is Mike from Programming.org. Uh, I wanted to share this amazing application that I came across. Um, it's called Maple. It's a it's pretty much a TI-83 calculator on steroids. Uh, there's an unlimited amount of things you can do with it. It was uh, coded in Java and I ended up having to use this uh, in my linear algebra class and it is an amazing product. The only problem is, is you can plug in whatever information you want and it's going to give you the direct answer. So as far as going and turning in homework assignments, it's hard to use this except for maybe checking that your answer is correct because it, as far as I know, uh, it doesn't go step by step. But I have very little experience with Maple and I wanted to give you a little overview of a few things I do know and see if y'all would be interested in me you know, looking into it more myself and trying to teach it. I'm going to just show you a few little cool things it can do. Um, let's see. Expressions. The TI-83 cannot do integrals as far as I'm concerned. And let's just show one real quick. You just All you have to do is type that button under expressions. Let's give it a a range from 0 to 5 and just some let's see a random polynomial real quick minus 2x squared plus 10 whoops plus 10 and we're differentiating on x or dx I'm sorry and we're not even differentiating I'm sorry hit enter and there you go there's the area uh, below the curve from 0 to 5 of this polynomial and you can just click this and there's a bunch of options let's uh, approximate it with five digits and it's 747.92 so th this is a amazing to me. Uh, if it's not to you, I'm sorry, but this is really cool. Let me show you a few little things in linear algebra that I actually do know that it can do. Um, actually, let me show you a graph, how it graphs stuff. Let's, uh, well, I'll put it in a, 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 a matrice, and it's going to graph this matrix. And to do that, you're going to want to give it a name. I'm just going to call it A. Uh, colon equals and that's assigning um, this variable name to whatever I'm about to do which is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix and it sets it up for you and all you have to do is I'm just going to plug in some random numbers uh, put in a number tab 6 tab 8 tab uh, negative 2 tab 3 tab 5 9 0 1 okay if you hit enter it's going to put it down here or you can do uh, colon and it won't but I want to show you what I can do with this so I'm going to highlight that right click it and there's a bunch of things you can do you can find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors and a characteristic polynomial representing that matrix um, you can find the norms you can uh, graph it you can uh, let's see, restrict columns, select columns, split them, solvers. This is really cool. If you want to just get it into reduced row echelon form, well, let me do something real quick. We're going to have to put in AX equals B form. And let's just give this a value of uh, 2, 6, and 7. And this is going to be a column vector, so it's going to pretty much represent one of these. And what I'm going to do is augment it onto the end of this to do the row, reduce row echelon form, and then I'll have another column right here, and th these will be your solutions to the to the equation. So let me say a no, let's say big B equals and I guess that's the less than symbol. I'm going to put A and then the big bar. I, I don't know what it's called, but it's shift and it's the, 
button right above the enter button and then a little b and a greater than sign let's see this entry is too tall or too short with b I don't know why well I'm still getting to learn this stuff right now um, let's make a new matrix a equals and every time you say a equals uh, maybe I didn't say you there's certain packages that you might have to upload for these things to work this may not be the issue at all but let's see linear algebra right click and it's going to tell you all the different uh, functions it can do on these matrix so let's see we can normalize it null space uh, some basis some sub vectors vector norm unlimited amount let's just get rid of this for right now so do the colon and you get rid of that stop taking up all that space now let's say b equals a augmented with little b ah uh, maybe because i didn't equal it right here there we go that was probably the issue okay so now we have this we're going to solve it so let's do reduce row echelon form and bam here's your solutions not pretty so by doing this by hand that would have been a pain uh, especially you know the heart of the fractions get 25 as a denominator isn't the worst but it, it can get bad and it's nice to be able to check your answers and see that if you're correct or not Let's see what other things we can do with this um, standard operations we can transpose it that just switches the rows and the columns um, what else can we do select elements solvers. to LU decomposition fraction free so we can find the P the L and the U I believe there we go so right here with the LU uh, decomposition this is the lower triangle as you can see the lower left triangle and this would be um, I forgot what it said it was this is pretty much the, the uh, the identity matrix well let's graph this let's see how that looks to do plots let's do a 3d surface plot and I want to um, let's just go to value of negative 10 to 10 to negative 10 to 10 and I, I haven't gone over this before so I really don't know what the outcome is going to be but as you can see there's a three-dimensional graph and you can grab it and you can flip it around and you can view it and all types of stuff and I know that importing this linear algebra package we can also import the uh, plots package not sure all of the uh, the syntax for it so that's why I highlight this and right click it and get what I need but this is an amazing amazing product and it's very expensive it's about two thousand two hundred dollars just for somebody to buy but because I'm a student I get to use it free for a year um, so if you are a student see into your uh, what would it be under let's say the business department um, the IT de excuse me the IT department might let you get this software free and it comes like I said it's it saved my butt a lot of times when I was solving a huge uh, linear algebra problem and I come to an answer that I have no idea if I'm correct or not boom plug it in here and see if I'm right or wrong and it has saved me a lot of time it has taught me a lot of things and the the reduced row echelon form I think that's so cool it just it just spits it out in less than a second so if y'all would like for me to go over more maple stuff, I can go over specific problems and teach linear algebra through this or with this maple. Um, so please give me a thumbs up if you like this video or comment and let me know if this will help any of y'all.
go further. Thank you very much for watching. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.